Hello everyone and welcome or welcome back to Jesse Kate Creates. In today's video I'm going to show you how I used three pieces of 12 by 12 pattern paper to make eight mini cards and matching envelopes. This was a great project for me to use up the pattern paper in my stash instead of just hoarding it. If you've been following me, then you know that's a big goal of mine this year, is to get use out of my pattern paper and to enjoy them and to allow others to enjoy them as well. So this paper pad I picked up at Tuesday morning a few months ago, and it just has some really gorgeous, beautiful alcohol ink designs um, in a variety of colors that I thought was great because it means I can use it for a lot of different occasions and a lot of different um, types of cards or other paper projects. So I picked three different pattern papers um, that had similar colors, so they all went together, but you could do whatever you want to do. Use three of the exact same papers or three completely different ones. This is totally up to you. Let your creativity run wild. So the first thing that I'm going to do is to make my cards. Um, I'm just cutting off that little top strip there so I have a true 12 by 12 piece of paper. And I'm just going to cut it in half at the 6 inch mark. Um, and then I'm going to take those pieces and cut them down at three inches. And that will give me eight pieces of pattern paper that are three inches by six inches. And I will just fold those in half to make a three inch by three inch mini card. You'll notice I switched paper trimmers. That's just because um, I need to replace the blade on the rotary trimmer. So now I'm just taking that pattern paper and scoring it in half at three inches to give me a three by three card. You'll see there it wasn't completely even, so I changed to just um, using the corner of my scoreboard um, to get even edges on my little mini note cards there. Nice and simple. And that's all you have to do to make the um, your eight note cards. So that part is pretty easy and that bit goes pretty quickly. So next, we're going to move on to making our envelopes. So for this, we need uh, two pieces of pattern paper. And on the We Are Memory Keepers envelope punch board that I'll be using, it says for a 3x3 three three card, um, to make an envelope, you need a piece of paper that is five and a quarter inches by five and a quarter inches. So I'm going to cut down these uh, pattern papers to 12 inches by five and a quarter, and that's what I have here. And now I'll cut these down to five and a quarter. So now I have a five and a quarter square piece of paper. Now, you will get some scraps with this. Do not throw those away. We are going to use those to decorate our cards, okay? So keep all of your scraps here. So I'm just going to go through and cut um, the rest of these sheets down to five and a quarter by five and a quarter. And that will give me eight five and a quarter square pieces of paper that I will use to make my envelopes. So to make the envelopes with the punch board, it's telling me that I need to take my piece of paper and I need to make the first score at, I believe, two and five eighths inches. So I'm just lining it up there, two and five eighths, and then I'll punch and score, turn the paper and line the score up with that little blue bit, punch and score again, and do that all the way around. So just punch, score, punch, score, punch, score. Ta-da, there we go. So I'll do that one more time. I will take my piece of paper, line it up at two and five eighths, punch and score. Now I'll line that score up with a little blue thingy and score and punch again. Line the score mark up, score again and punch and rinse and repeat. I am going to do that to all eight pieces of paper and that's what you see here. And so the next step is to fold up my envelopes. Whenever I'm mass producing like this, I try to do all the similar steps at the same time. Um, so, you know, I cut all of the papers, I scored all the papers, and now I'm going to glue all of the envelopes. So I'm just looking to see what I want the top of the envelope to be, and I like that there. So I'm going to use my uh, envelope punch board to round um, the top and the bottom corners. You don't have to do this. I just think it gives it a, a nice clean look. So that's what I'm going to do. And then I put the envelope together using a little bit of wet glue. Personally, I really like to use my 
art glitter glue um, because it dries clear and it doesn't dry sticky. Um, oh, and here I'm just checking to make sure that the, uh, the card fits and it does beautifully. So I'm going to glue that up. You can use whatever um, you have. You could use dry glue if you have some. You could use tear tape. Um, honestly, these envelopes aren't going to get heavy duty use. I'm not putting them through the mail because they're too small. Um, what I've been doing with these cards is just whenever I go out, um, if I go to get fast food, if I go to pick something up, anything where I have to interact with another person, especially a service worker, I just give them a card, um, with a little note inside, thanking them for all their service and all their hard work and just letting them know that I appreciate them. Um, okay. So to secure these cards, cards. I'm just using a piece of tear tape. Um, nothing special here, but that way when I'm ready to give one of these cards, it's really easy for me to, to peel that off and seal it up and give it to the recipient. Okay, so back to the cards. Now we're going to do some decorating. These are perfect. These are really simple note cards, but I just wanted to add a little something extra to them. So to do that, I'm going to be using this stamp set. Um, this was a Love Nicole stamp set from AC Moore. Use whatever you have in your stash. So I'm going to be using that little label along with the For You sentiment. And I think I eventually ended up grabbing a Thank You sentiment from another stamp set. I'm going to be doing some heat embossing, so I'm just taking some baby powder and treating my paper. And then I'm going to take some Versamark ink. And you see that strip? That's one of the scraps for making the envelope. And I'm just going to stamp right onto that scrap. I'm not letting any of this paper go to waste. Um, so I am just stamping that down with the sticky ink and then I will cover it with my uh, gold embossing powder. And I thought this was a really simple way to add a little something extra to the card. And I think the way that there's little bits of that alcohol ink in the sentiment, um, it just looks really nice. Um, so off camera, while I was doing this, I had my heat gun getting good and hot. This paper is on the thinner side, so I didn't want it to warp too badly. Um, so one way to prevent warping when you are heat embossing is to use a hot heat gun. So off camera, I embossed that. Uh, and now I'm going to stamp the sentiments on the inside, just using a little acrylic block. So some of them say for you and some of them say thank you. And again, I will just coat those in my embossing powder and treat them with the heat gun. So, um, they're all embossed. And there are the finished ones. Uh, the stamp set did have a matching die for that label. So off camera, I just die cut out each one of those sentiments, as you can see in the corner there. And now it's time to decorate. And this was really simple, you guys. I just am attaching those labels to the front of the cards with some foam tape. So here I'm trying to decide where I want to put these and I decided, you know what, we're going to keep it simple. We're just going to put it right in the middle of the card. So I have some cut up little pieces of foam tape. Um, I'll attach it to the back and just pop that up right in the center of the card. And how easy is that? Um, and boom, that's the card done. So here are all of the finished envelopes and you can see they all look so different because of those pattern papers we used, right? Um, but they're all absolutely gorgeous. And here are each of the finished cards. And again, I mean, look at the variety you get. You have some that are like green and blue and purple. And I just love this. It was a quick and easy project. Um, and I hope it inspires you to use up the papers in your collection and to go out and add a little kindness to the world. Thanks so much for watching you guys and I will see you next time.